Hello guys and welcome to Robux Productions. Today we are talking about my top 5 LEGO Star Wars sets that I own. Now, in this list, I do include UCS sets, poly bags, everything. But, the UCS Falcon is surprisingly not on this list, even though it is a great set and I do own it, but it's just not one of my favorites. So, today we are going to be talking about my top 5 sets that I personally own in my collection from LEGO Star Wars as recording this in 2020. But this list may change over time. If I got to be public drop of ATOT, I'm sure that will be up here, or maybe the UCS Star Trek, or one of those sets may replace some of these in the near future. So I'll be making an updated list of this probably in the next two or three years. So let's get into the video with number five. I absolutely love Darth Vader's Castle. It's one of the best sets of 2019, and it's just amazing. I am so glad I got this recently, and yeah, I mean, it just feels so menacing, so dark, and there's tons of room in the bag to play around, and do awesome things, even though I never do, but just imagine putting a light kiss in this, it looks so good at night, and I love this set, it has a hangar bay in the bottom, it has a little Darth Vader, Darth Vader transformation chamber on the top, which could use some work, but that's good, it has a hover tank pilot that's blue, just like the VR void game, which I actually did try in Florida one time, and yeah, I thought it was amazing, and I thought this was a reminiscent set of that, and I absolutely loved it. It was a great ex Amazon exclusive set. In the game, you dress up as one of those blue hover tank pilots, or pink, purple, red, whatever you want to be. It could be any of those colors, but you do dress up as those. But personally, blue is my favorite color, and I would chose blue, and that's the main figure that came in this set, which was great. And I feel like... The Void VR game is pretty awesome. You can actually feel the heat around you. You can't actually touch the lava, but you can feel the heat around you. And that's just not the VR headset. But it's pretty cool for that feature alone. Plus, you get a little taste when you get shots in the back or something. It doesn't really hurt. It just, it's a little tickle at most. So let's move on to the next set at number four. We have the Tantive IV, which also means Tantive 4. So it's kind of funny. It's my fourth favorite label set that I personally own. Now this set is going to be the only UCS set on this well, on this list. You know, it's not very really considered a UCS set, but I feel like it is because it's just amazing. It has a handle that you can actually lift up. That's a stoner dish. It's actually pretty accurate weight wise, but without that handle, I feel like too many pieces would come off. It's very hard to carry and the engines are a little loose, but yeah, I feel like that's the almost the best version of that model. Maybe the one from 2003, will be better once I do get that one day, that beautiful ship, but honestly, this one, it has Bail Organa, a new Leia leg piece, and I love that feature about it, it has escape pods, even though they're not in the accurate place, they actually belong on the underbelly, which they do show in it, there's, that's just what those little cone cylinders are for, and um, yeah, but still, it's an amazing set, I'm glad to own it now finally, so let's move on to my next favorite set. Okay, moving up to here, number three, we have the Republic Gunship. Now, this set is something I've wanted for a long time. I recently only got it two years ago in the year of 2018, and that set is amazing. I almost bought it a long time ago back in 2013, but I didn't because I bought the Star Destroyer instead, and I feel like that was a good idea because they both go for about the same value sealed in box. The Star Destroyer from 2014 goes for about 400, and so does this Gunship. Now, this gunship is an amazing set. It has doors that open up on both sides, and there's a hatch that opens up in the back where they drop the ATRT out of. But in this case, they have a little speeder because they did not think to make a little ATRT, or maybe they did, just they didn't want to do that. But if you made a custom tiny ATRT, not the one that comes in the new Fall for Battle Pad that comes out in summer of 2020, well, then you can actually launch it from the back, and I feel like that's pretty cool. I have not done this, but I plan to in the near future. Also, there's missiles that launch in the top, a back rotating gun, and there's a little, another hatch that also opens the back for like storage supply parts, and there's a missile rack in the front. Now this set, I feel like, could use another base, like another way of like sliding doors like in the front, instead of those big guns, like I feel like it'd be cool to have an attachment for that, but that does not because this takes place on the Battle of Geonosis, unlike the Clone Wars variant one that came out in 2007, which I feel like I may like that better if I would have gotten that one, but either way, they both go for about 400 hours. So let me know in the comments below which gunship you would have preferred, and let's move on to number two on the list. We have the Star Destroyer. 
from 2014. Now, this is why I was glad I bought this one instead of Republic Gunner because this one's actually even better in my opinion. This ship was like the main base of the Empire for me whenever I was doing army building of the Empire because I was a really Imperial army builder back in the day, a long time ago before I did First Order army builder and clone army builder, all that junk. But this was the main thing I loved to do and I felt this was the main backbone and it still has felt like that for quite some time and it still does today. I love this set and I eventually one day want to buy a new one of these sealed in box just to have. So I have two of them, but yeah. But I do feel like the interior is lacking. Look at that gun poster. That's not that great. And then um, on the one from like the original one they made of the Star Destroyer, it was like way better. They had a Darth Vader transformation chamber, even though that wasn't movie accurate, but still that was cool. It had better gun rack, a lot of cool things. But this one just didn't have that great of an interior, which was kind of disappointing to me, which is why I tried to modify it and did all that. But that didn't turn out so well because I, I was a little kid. And yeah, let's just say it didn't look well. Um, but yeah, that's why this ship is number two on the list. Also, the figures are great too. You get two stormtroopers, Imperial officer, um, and Imperial crew member, and Darth Vader. So, moving on to number one, the moment we've all been waiting for it is the Red 5 X Wing from 2012. Now, before you give me too much hate for this set, I love it, and I don't care about the guns, and they may seem a little big, but yeah. And I, the 2018 one, I don't own it, but. I don't like the training team that one that much. I mean, it just doesn't look that good with the color scheme and everything, even though the features are way better. Now, this set isn't that fragile. The rubber bands work great, but they do wear out over time, but I'm pretty sure all rubber bands wear out over time if you do have the ship in, like, like attack mode, like I did on Scare for so long. The rubber bands did wear out for mine. I had to get replacement ones eventually, which I still have to do, but it does come with two sets of rubber bands. Now, you can also change the logo on this to be a Red 6 X-Wing, which I didn't know about that till recently. So, um, yeah, mine's just always been Red 5 for the longest time, and I didn't know you could change it. Make it Red 6 or whatever, or Red 1, I guess, if you really want to. Um, it's cockpit opens up. There's nothing that really fires on the ship. I did try to modify that one time a long time ago, but still. But this jet is so nostalgic to me. It was one of my first sets, and it was either 50 or $59. I remember I got it, and I was so happy when I did. And yeah, to this day, it is my favorite Lego set of all time. So that is going to wrap it up for my favorite Lego Star Wars sets that I own. Not my favorite Lego sets ever, but this is just the Star Wars category. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please let me know in the comments below. Because I'm thinking about doing more of these in the near future for things that I have or things I, things I would want. But yeah, this is it for now. Peace out. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you all again real soon. Peace.